Richard, I haven't run away. But I wanted to be alone for my last meeting with Sabina. There's something I haven't told you. My real name is Marie Franquin Spielrein. I was born in France, but my family originally came from Russia. My great-grandparents managed to get out when Stalin came to power. For years, I've been longing to come to Russia to learn all I could about Sabina Spielrein. You'll undoubtedly wonder, when you hear this message, if we are related, since we have the same family name. Maybe we are, but that's hardly important. I feel by now Sabina and I are closely related in our souls. to do, Professor. She's been like this for a year now, ever since her little sister, Irina, died from pneumonia. She's getting worse every day. We've come all the way from Russia. We thought if we brought her here to you, then maybe you could help us. I'll do it again. I won't. I promise. I won't do it again. Please believe me, but don't keep me here. Please don't keep me here. No. No, 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 no! You silly old pig! Tell your slut to get her hands off me! You bastards! <laughs> Guardian Angel, my mother and father have gone back to Russia and left me here. I'm frightened. I don't want to be alone. I shall stop eating. That way, when they come back, all they'll find will be my clothes and my shoes. I'm sorry I shan't be here to see their faces. To my mother, I leave the notes of Tumbalalaika, my favorite song. To my father, I leave nothing. What can grow without rain? What can burn for years without end? A stone can grow without rain, but only love can burn for years without end. So much has been written and recorded about Sabina's treatment in Zurich. But no one's ever bothered to find out what happened to her after she returned to Russia. That's why I wanted to come to Moscow, to discover some facts about the white nursery, the infant school where she was last seen. I've often wondered what fascinated you about Sabina. Certainly, I never imagined that we'd meet as a result of a theft. There are rabbits. No hairs in my room. They're all black and they've got long ears like sheep. I get into bed and they're already there waiting for me. As soon as they see me, they start laughing. I yell at them. I'm tired. Leave me alone. I don't want to play anymore. Professor Bloiler has put me in charge of your case. Now, oh, gently.
do you want to die? B because I'm wicked. That's hardly reason enough. Anyway, I'm here to stop you. So which of us do you think is going to win, Miss Spearine? I'd like to try a new treatment with you. Nothing forced, no cold showers, no shackling you to the bed. It consists essentially in letting you talk. Whatever comes into your head, you talk and I listen. Shall I tell you what they do on Mars? Please. What do they do on Mars? They don't have babies. Why not? Because no one makes love on Mars. How do you know that? I've been there. Wish I'd been to Mars. No one ever takes any notice when I say things like that. Do you like children, Miss Spearine? Oh, tell me. Don't be afraid. You can't kill me, Doctor. Why not? Because you are well, and I am not. So? So, so you can't understand me. Do all Russian girls read French newspapers? Excuse-moi, je n'ai pas le temps. Sorry, what? Leave me alone. I don't care if you're Russian or you're French. What you are is a thief. Does the name Sabina Spielrein mean anything to you? Give it back. My name's Richard Fraser. I teach history at Glasgow University. I think your acquisition might be quite useful to me. Can I at least have a look at it? And if not, you report me? Well, it is an idea. Why don't we go and have a drink somewhere and talk about that? Do I have a choice? Yes. Tea or coffee. Look, I'm sorry if I come on a bit strong, but I'm a historian. Any time a document is removed from the official archives, it's lost forever. Monsieur Historian, here in Russia, any time a document is consigned to the official archives, it is lost forever. <laughs> Look, I'm doing research into the former Soviet Union. I think the addition of psychoanalysis could be very interesting. I have an idea. You speak Russian and English, and you obviously know your way around. I need an interpreter. You want a thief to work for you? Well, beggars can't be choosers. Anyway, you could go on with your own research at the same time. We could pool our resources. It's a nice idea. But my research grant was not exactly generous, and I've used it up. I go back to Paris on Saturday. Right. I'm not suggesting you work for free. I'll pay you. How much? Board and lodging. And $600 a week. <laughs> Tumbala, 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 like, tumbala, like a spear. You sing beautifully. I like sculpting myself, you know, but I prefer stone to clay. You're very talented. Where did you learn? My uncle taught me in Russia. Is he a sculptor? No. He's an alchemist. He taught me how to make paper out of rags. Did he just? You know, I'm rather keen on doing experiments that are somewhat um, unorthodox. What kind of experiments? I tend to sense things before they happen. Psychic intuition, if you like. 
lost my legs. <laughs> Do you often fall like that? Who's that woman spying on us? What woman? There's a woman at that window. She's staring at me. That's my apartment. I don't see anyone there. So, must be all right. Have you ever fallen like that before? It happened once. When? My cat had some kittens. I said I wanted to be like her. My father lost his temper. But my mother said there was nothing wrong with me wanting to have children. After all, I was a woman, wasn't I? Don't be frightened. I just wanted to show you how I would have nursed my kittens. Guardian Angel, my doctor is fair-haired and handsome, even more so when he smokes his pipe. Tomorrow I shall ask him if he is married. I saw you in the garden this morning with your new patient. What's wrong with her? Clinical diagnosis is hysteria, but uh, there's more to it. Why don't you speak to Freud? This is the first time you've used his method, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, I'll write to him. Sometimes I feel you allow your patients to affect you rather too deeply. It's the only way I know how to heal. Perhaps she doesn't want to grow up. Wants to be a child again. I suspect there's some unresolved Oedipal complex. Makes her feel so guilty she actually wants to be punished. The two of you should get along well together then. I was thinking of you and Freud. I mean, he's virtually appointed you his son and heir and you look upon him as father. I wonder if you'll end up trying to kill each other. Добрый день. Добрый день. Профессор Фрейзер забронировал для меня номер. Мари Франкен. Мари Франка. Да, комната 121. Do you ask for communicating rooms? Of course not. Okay. 